Okay, looks like everything is working. <laughs> Welcome, mysterious travelers. Today, I'm playing Landmark. I know, it's been a while, but I'm returning. Ha! Why? Because, um... I want to put some buildings from the D&D &D game in here. So those of you who have been following that D&D &D game, um, this is the layout for the King's Mansion. Let me actually just fly around the edges. So it's a two-story mansion. The bottom of which has four windows, the top of which has three. Um, and they each have their separate, you know, little patterns going on. Inside you can see the throne. It's two-toned. Everything's kind of white or gray. But <laughs> that's just because it, it works better User for me. joined your channel. Wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I should probably put myself on voice activation in this channel. That way I don't have to use push to talk the whole time. Da 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 da! Right, so... Where was I? Ah, oh, yes, the throne room. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> To each side of the throne, I have staircases going up to the second floor, and behind those staircases, there are rooms. One of these is going to be servants' quarters, and the other one is going to be for less fun stuff. <laughs> so yeah, it wouldn't be uncommon for people to hear screams coming from certain parts of this area. Then to the back here, this would be the dining room. Not furnished yet, I know. Don't worry. It's gonna happen. <laughs> and then. Shit, have you seen my places? No, I haven't. Yeah, not furnished yet. Don't worry, it'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> You still have your plain Dungeons and Dragons up. Oh, do I? Mm -hmm. Thank you for telling me. You're welcome. Game was set to landmark. I hope the title is not. D&D. Because &D. if it is, that's gonna suck. It is. Ah, balls. No, on my screen it says Daybreak and a new, screen, a new stream schedule celebration Steam game giveaway for active viewers. Yep. And then it says playing Landmark. Because... That's what the Moopot did for me. Hey, Moopot. Yay, Moopot. <laughs> okay. Uh, this room that I've been floating around here for a couple seconds, minutes, whatever now. Uh, this will be the ballroom. Ooh! The ballroom! <laughs> Yes, Make where they sure have they're not blue. Where they have dances and stuff. God damn it, Eva. Where they have <laughs> balls. <laughs> you had to say it, didn't it's you? It's just me and you. You just had to. It's all right. Of course. Because <laughs> I've got big balls. She's got big balls. Yep, this but is not awkward at all. <laughs> the biggest of the ball. Okay. <laughs> It was a very small ballroom, anyway. Just can't have big balls in there. Nope. That's the whole idea. He's, uh, he's <laughs> not a very social king. Nice. That was almost as loud as mine. Good. <laughs> it was really quiet. Sad. Yeah. Better luck next time. Anyway, so the reason these walls here have holes in them 
is so that the guards who patrol around here can shoot any motherfuckers who try to do anything to the king. Same on the other side. So whoever comes through that door is gonna get watched by a couple of guards who will stay up here. This right here would be the study, which connects to the master bedroom. Which then connects to, um, let me think, what was this one? Study, master bedroom, potty. <laughs> Bathroom, yeah. Yeah! It's a body. That's one of the things that's gonna be in there. <laughs> <laughs> Multipass is in here. Oh, really? Multipass. Mr. Lurker. And once I'm done with uh, the main building, I'll be making a basement underneath it. Sweet. It will contain both a storage area and a dungeon area. <clears throat> Which would basically be a prison and torture room. Alright. Other than that, the outside still pretty, you know, basic. And I just floated through the window. That was amazing. I can't wait to see it. And I know not all the patterns match, but that's supposed to happen. Because <laughs> otherwise, flipping boring. It's just the fact that you keep floating through windows that's making me giggle. I know. It's making me... <laughs> it's making me mess up even more. <laughs> Ooh, those ones look like hearts. They do. I like the hearts. I didn't see any hearts. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no, they're very mean. I mean, they would never be hearts. Hmm. I'm confused. <laughs> no hearts there. No. That's true. Hearts in the middle. Those are hearts. Scroll in. You I don't must, see them, they're dark. I must be blind. And on the top. Well, they look like hearts to me. I mean, I've been awake a long time. Not anymore, now they're diamonds. Go back. God Go damn back it. over. Go back over two more. Well, it has to stop there and scroll it. Oh. Yeah. I guess they could not be hearts. From a distance, they look like hearts. This is really confusing. <laughs> ah! I think I'll just go back to my building now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sounds like a good plan, yeah. Right? The most annoying part, yeah. I think, is going to be the roof, for sure. Roofs are flipping evil. Of course. I'm evil. You are evil. Woot! And these roofs are evil. I swear. Roofs are out for my blood. Woot! Bad skills. It's been a long time. Bad skills? I don't see him saying nothing. He didn't say nothing. Oh. I'm a, I'm a lurker watcher. <laughs> and hello, Vaughn. He's in here. <laughs> I see him. Uh, let's kind of try to measure this out. 
because I have to know where the center is so that I can put a beam in there so that I can support the roof with that. 150, okay. Well, no, I fell. God damn it. <laughs> You're sleeping. I don't believe you. Your bad skills. I don't believe you at all. You wouldn't lie to me now, would you? Because that's bad. Lying to me is bad. Actually, instead of trying to make an area for an attic up here, I could probably leave it open so that the throne room itself looks more impressive. And then all I'd have to do is make a small supporting beam structure for the roof itself. Yes, I did. And I'm proud of it, too. <laughs> How dare you try to take cover. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna artifact like crap. But... <laughs> it's funny. Okay. So this is going to be probably a massive roof. Because I'll need to put it up way high before it can make sense. I'm going to go to sleep, but I'm going to lurk. Woot woot. Woot woot. Have a great night. E.T. Why, thank you. Oh no, still artifacted. I was not taught well. Oh, come on, monkey man, learn. may not have been my brightest idea to make the roof with these angles. Hmm. Actually, don't you guys agree it's kind of quiet on the stream? Because I kind of think it is. And you know what? It shouldn't be like that. Let there be music.
And I'm gonna use Twitch FM's uh, Spotify page to find this music. That way, the whole video doesn't get censored, which would be a shame. <clears throat> The way I put this pillow. Ah, better. And it's gonna be the. Let's see. Probably the Monster Cat playlist. If I can find it. This one should do. Oh, my aim. My aim. See, this is why I can't win at shooter games. Reason for this stream, basically, because, um... I don't know, I've seen a lot of negative comments and, and scared comments about SOE 
becoming daybreak games and guys there's really no reason to worry not according to me anyway um, because well basically fearing something we don't know is kind of you know it's the easy thing to do and up until now I think the devs have proven that they're kind of you know they're doing a good job so why should we not trust them right it's kind of silly still the same dev team so I say it's a good thing so far and until I see proof of the other uh, of the other side the other possibility that's what I was looking for <laughs> I'll just keep on playing Landmark and I'll keep uh, giving feedback to the devs. And in the meantime, if you look at my title, it also says New Stream Schedule Celebration. And it's very simple. Scroll to the bottom of this page and you'll see my new stream schedule. <laughs> Uh, your bad skills, but you're gonna you're gonna make yourself sicker, man. That's not good. And hey, Trilotist, how you doing, man? Um, I'm currently building the mansion for the king in Blightward from the D and D game. At least um, I'm building my vision of it. That's okay, to be honest. The mansion of the king in Blightward. I can type it out if you want, if it wasn't clear. Um, it's the capital from Dungeons and Dragons, from the Dungeons and Dragons game that we do on Sundays. Your bad skill says if I become more sick, I can skip school. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> Needs to be a way to copy your last piece so you can just copy paste. Yes, there totally needs to be that. Oh my god. If I could do that, I could make these things in a matter of seconds. Would be a lot better. Oh, loves? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't care for that symbol when I'm on uh, when I'm on a touchpad thing either, because <laughs> I don't own an iPad. 
don't have any. Dang. This roof, man, it's gonna take me ages. And then originally I wanted to learn how to do tiles and, you know, to add those to this roof, but... I don't think I'm gonna do that. Don't think I will. <laughs> there, There's too much... too much roof. Yes, that is absolutely true. I would bash my head into a wall several times, because god damn, it would... I would make so many mistakes, right, and without the copy-paste, I... No way. I would have to make every individual piece, like, over and over and over. There would be so many mistakes in my build, I, I would just... I would bash my head against the wall in shame. <laughs> That's what I would be doing. Oh, come on, why don't you just auto- No! Why don't you auto-align with the other parts of this? <laughs> Make me cry! No, actually, that was a suppressed yawn. That didn't work really well. I made a really, really weird face there. Almost there, I can smell it! I can smell the finish line and it smells like victory! Oh no! I screwed up again. <laughs> what the? What did I just do? I artifacted the one next to it. That was special. Oh. Oh no! I'm out of dirt. That's not. Your bad skills. That's silly, dude. And loves, yeah, you can. You can use the selection tool and control C to copy and paste. Um, but when I don't have the materials, <laughs> it's not going to do. User joined much. your channel. And hey, Buzz Weaver, welcome to the stream. I'm very good to have you here. Just gonna dig straight down and eventually 
my character will either stop or I'll have enough dirt. <laughs> or I might end up falling through the world. This also happens. Or he teleports instantly to the surface. That also happens. Got the mic plugged in. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, that happens to me too sometimes. Or, like, even when I just mute myself because I'm sneezing or something, sometimes I forget to put myself back on. So, welcome. Good to hear from you. <laughs> yes, yeah, good to see you uh, streaming again, Matt. Well, thank you. Yeah, I thought now was, like, the perfect time. Uh, because I actually have, like, a cause, basically, um, you know, um, SOE being purchased by the new company, I, I always forget their name, and being rebranded, there we go, Columbus Nova, and then being renamed Daybreak, I figured there was a lot of fear-mongering going on on the forums, and, you know what, I'm... I don't feel the same way, simply because I I trust the devs when they say that it's a good thing, because I have no reason to mistrust them. They've done all of this for us so far, and yeah, for me, that means they get a little, you know, uh, slack on that end. Well, I think it's important to remember, too, this is a critical point, also is that since they're stepping away from Sony, this opens up the possibility for them to introduce their platforms to other consoles and, and other arenas. When they were with Sony, you know, they were had to be exclusive Sony. So that's the thing that people are overlooking as well. They're, they're thinking that, you know, this investment, which it is, it's an investment. You know, companies invest in, in other companies to generate cash, not necessarily to bleed that company and milk it for what it's worth. But, you know, I think Smedley made an awesome point. You know, hey, this allows us to go to Xbox. This allows us to go to other places game platforms yeah exactly it gives them basically a bigger player base to distribute to which I think is a very very good thing because that means they'll you know get more revenue and thus be able to make more or improve their games on a more regular basis if they make more games it's gonna be interesting to see what they come out with uh, especially seeing as now they have this voxel engine. And if they improve their old games, it's going to be interesting to see what that engine does to those games. So I can't wait. Yeah, you made a great point, because if you look at the dynamics of where they're going with the voxel technology, the storybook AI, 
and then with the Forge Light engine, you know, you're talking about a lot of direction, a lot of potential here. I think what Definitely. Columbus Nova saw was that potential. Hey, man, look at these guys. They're really innovating. They're, they're you know, really bolstering their capabilities and they're spreading out. I mean, even, uh, you know, we're looking at the games that are currently here now, right? And then yeah. Smedley also pointed out that they're basing, they're going to make a World War II game very similar to how the um, H1Z1 is constructed. So these guys are down the road. You know, it's just like we talked about not too long ago is everything we're seeing today is something they've known about weeks or months ago. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, in your bad skills in my chat was asking, didn't I join in June? Yeah, that's very possible. And I think it's, it's early June even. You were one of the first, man. That's pretty awesome. And Trelana says, however, Sony probably was more forgiving than an investment company would be. This leads to more efficient working, but it can also lead to cutting the workshop show or landmark live, as those efforts cannot really be measured in coins. That could be true, but I've seen no evidence to that happening, so until I actually see them cancel those things, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I'm just going to take it as it comes, because, you know, otherwise I'm just going to drive myself nuts with what I might potentially lose, and that's no way to live. I, you know, the workshop shows, or any of the Landmark Lives, or any of those, are what attracts people. They want access to the depth. I mean, what better way to voice your opinion, get your point across, interact with, and be involved with the development team, the live streams. I mean... That's why people enjoy Twitch, because they can talk directly to those people, and it empowers them. It makes them feel like they're part of it. And, you know, Columbus Novus is probably going to sit back and say, hey, man, you guys are a winning horse. You guys just run the race, and we'll just, you know, fund you and give you the means to, to make yourselves profitable, make yourselves uh, run well. Yeah, that's the scenario that I think is the most likely, too. Like, I don't think they'll cancel a bunch of stuff. Instead, I think they'll enforce a bunch of things. Basically because it means more profit for them. I mean, they'll see their money back sooner. I don't see a reason why they wouldn't do it. Yeah, because right now, they have a winning formula. You know, they have a great formula. They've got these amazing games coming out. They've got this new technology. It's pretty exciting to see what direction they're going in. And with, with, with this purchase, you know, you're seeing them having the ability to not be overly worried about staying within a certain parameter or a certain dimension. Now they can kind of spread out and, and do their thing. And I think the people at Columbus Nova are going to trust that, are going to trust that 16 years of experience that Smedley has brought to to the gaming community and the gaming company and the success that it's had. It only makes sense. Right. Yeah, that's basically how I feel too. Like, I I really don't see a problem right now with how it's going. Trelonis says, don't get me wrong, I love the live shows and I watched every single one I could. But if big suits look at the observer count of the workshop show and compare those numbers to some of the more successful player streams, they might very well draw a wrong conclusion. And he adds to that, how much knowledge of video game development do you think this investment company has? Well, if you, if you look at their portfolio, which I posted actually in the actual thread that they put there, they've actually salvaged the gaming community from Viacom. They actually saved a, a gaming company from Viacom. Um, look at it this way. If you're an investor here in the United States with a free market system, when people invest in something, they want to invest with a winner, right? You want to put your money where things are going to happen and where, where it's going to grow. And I don't think that Nova is really going to be there and being a backseat driver. That's the, that's the, that's the perspective people have is that uh, Columbus Nova is going to be a backseat driver and say, hey, do this, do that, do this, this is more popular, that's more popular. They're going to have faith. They're going to trust that John Smedley, who has built the company after 16 years, is going to know what direction the company needs to go in. And I don't see Columbus Nova being a backseat driver and saying, hey, uh, go this way or that way because this is more popular, sticking their finger to the wind and, and saying, you know, well, the market's going this way and that way. I just, 
I don't see that happening. I think there's a lot of knee-jerk reaction to this. I mean, yes, I've been involved in companies that have been purchased and upper management, middle management, supervisor level, all of them all go, but I just don't see that happening right now. Yeah, which is also, you know, the main reason for my stream is because while everybody has or seems to have this fear of what's happening, um, all I'm seeing is change and an increase in freedom for SOE, or well, ex-SOE, which is now Daybreak and I should respect that name. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I understand where the concerns are coming from, I just don't have those same concerns. And who knows, you know. Um, maybe we'll see some developments that will assure the people who are now currently scared. And if it does happen that, you know, your guys' worst nightmare comes true, then it'll be unfortunate, but it's up to them kinda to go the direction they want and all we can do is just sit by and hope for the best. So instead of fearing the worst nightmare, just hope for the best and trust the devs. I mean, we have until now and look at what they gave us. And they have known about this for a while. I mean, I'm kinda curious, I have to admit that you know, there was that sudden stoppage, right, of the SOE Insider program, and, and I noticed as a player direct poster that things stopped being posted back in like November. I'm like, man, what's going on? You know, I'm yeah. still submitting things, and they're replying back. And I'm, you know, you know, these kind of things change because they're going to have to change all that information, their email addresses, their contacts, their websites, their yeah. YouTube's. I mean, all these things are going to have to change the game break now. Yeah, if you look back at the history, it's probably going to show that this has been a, a long process in the making. Um, but in the meantime, chat says, in Germany we call them Heuschrecken, which is crickets. They come, they eat our crops, and then they leave again. Of course, this is a very pessimistic point of view that I personally don't share, however, I'm a little afraid it might be true. And I understand where that fear comes from, but, you know... If they had really feared that they would, would be dissolved, they would have probably shared that fear. They've been very open with us so far. But I think they've been re reassured to the point where they were comfortable with keeping the fact that they were going through that transition from us until it was done. And your bad skill says, we're a gaff. People fear change, I know, because I became sick when my room changed actually sick. Okay, well, yeah, and as you said yourself, uh, that's different, because change of environment sometimes brings with it uh, some pathogens. But, yeah, I suppose it does have the same type of fear attached to it, you know. Uh, the fear that a change of venue might mean a negative change for yourself. And I respect that, I just don't share that view. Exactly, yes, there can be fear where none is needed. And as long as that fear stays within healthy, healthy proportions, it can be helpful. But when it, you know, when it starts generating forum posts in which people just go bananas, just go, oh my god, no, they're destroying the company and stuff, you know, all that does is generate negative buzz around the company in question. So, you know, and then the players are gonna get censored because they're actually harming the company without realizing. So... Guys, just... The people who are all afraid and stuff need to kind of tone it down, sit back for a while, and when they're calm, objectively look at what's in User front of them, your and take their conclusions then. 
And hello, Hope Stealer. Welcome to the stream, man. Very good to have you. I hate these creatures. And why did I suddenly end up in a cave? Um, I don't know, I was digging down for dirt, and then now I have like 40k dirt, but I'm also in a cave, so I decided to kill things in the cave while I was here. And you found a chest! <laughs> and kill I found a chest. I almost forgot about that, but yes I did. Yeah, because in caves now you're just gonna get stone. Now. <laughs> right. It's all stone. Yup, yup. That really sucks. <laughs> and your bad skills says, I missed you on Landmark, man, I love the game. Yeah, dude, I really love the game, too. Um, I've just been kind of... I don't know. Out of inspiration, I guess. I didn't know what to build or what to do. So I was going through a bunch of games, and then... It's really... It's strange, because D&D requires me to use my inspiration and it uses up a lot of my creativity, but then that's what's generating new content in Landmark for me, so... Right, I heard you guys are starting something based on your D&D adventures uh, within Landmark, and I think that's really cool. Yeah, we're building some of the, the key buildings that they're going to be seeing a lot, or that they have seen a lot, um, just to basically show people what they would look like if they were real. I think that's really awesome. Yeah, and according to some, it's it's a long overdue project, which I think is really funny. But yeah, we'll see. I hope I can make a couple of these buildings. These are two monsters, I don't know if I can take those with the daggers, especially the abomination because it hits hard at close range. Mm, well... YOLO! Whoa! Slogs hit hard too, apparently, I didn't know this. What? Go home. Your face is scary. Or like they say in League of Legends, spin it to win it! Uh, 
I can spin around this guy all day. It's not fun to look at, but it's effective. <laughs> okay, now the abomination. <laughs> yeah, they do. Kind of creepy. This one's finally they're, dead, though. Uh, and they're AOE gas. Yeah. Oh my god. It's actually a little OP. Yeah, they've increased them quite a bit, man. Well, because remember, people that ran around with the daggers like you have to just chop through things like, like crazy, like freaking Ginsu knives and a and, and freaking butter. <laughs> True, yeah. But it took me a long while to find these, so <laughs> when I finally had them, they were basically useless. <laughs> well, except against the Pale Slogs. I can't say that the Pale Slogs are harder with this weapon. It's really creepy to actually see the projection of the caves in front of me, though. Wow. Uh, do you want to post a link to your YouTube channel, Buzz? Because I can give you perms. Oh, that's that's fine, Morgan. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't come in uh, to uh, advertise myself. He was just asking. Well, yeah, but, exactly. Uh, I... Seeing as someone asked, channel. you know, I don't want to deprive anybody of information. And hello, user. I think I do. Let me... I'll try it. Hello. Hey, hey, how are you doing? How are you? I'm doing okay. Uh, digging through some caves in Landmark right now. Uh, after this, I'm gonna try and get back to my build. Yeah, it worked. Ah, uh, there we go. Perfect. Boom, shoom. Yeah, I even gave my good buddy here work out the plug on uh, the video for the one year. Absolutely, I think uh, I think he deserves it. Thank you, sir. He does a great job. Oh, exploded in my face. Almost tragic, but luckily it didn't do too much damage. Gotta go into this channel. <laughs> That's okay, your bad skills. Pretty active. I'd say he's very active compared to some of, of the other YouTubers I've seen. As far as I can tell, as, as far as I can tell, I'm the only YouTuber that's covering Landmark in that fashion. As far yes. as like who's covering Landmark, the YouTuber. Now, Tenma and some of the other guys, they might they might do their their broadcasts and then put them on YouTube. But as far as a solid YouTuber, I don't. I've not seen anyone else. Have you guys seen any other YouTubers? I mean, that are like that are as as active as I am. I'm not seeing any. I haven't. I know some of the larger content content creators will cover Landmark. They, you know, they do all of three hours worth of gameplay, and they expect to be able to give us good, solid information. And it's just, just disappointing to me. Nice. Awesome your bad skills. Thanks, man. Well, Dave said they were having a big meeting today, so we'll kind of have to wait and see how all that turns out.
Honest says, I had plans on creating a very thorough and technical tutorial for Landmark. Even registered an account on all social media channels and started writing a 6k script. But I ran out of time. Oh, that sucks, man. Dang. But, uh, very impressive. Because I, I know nothing about programming or any of that, so... Yeah. When I see somebody who does know how to do that, I am always thoroughly impressed. And hey Ace, welcome to the stream, I'm very good to have you here indeed. How are you doing today? Where are you asking me that? Oh, really? See, my brain's on automatic. When I see somebody in chat, I answer by asking them how they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I like throwing them off like that. I'll post something on there, then I'll jump in the channel. <laughs> ah, they're trying to confuse me, guys. Get him! <laughs> hey, horror! It's not that hard. Oh no, you did not. Well, yes, I did. You will pay for that, sir. I am lawfully good, <laughs> which means I can be a jerk. dude. That is so not true. That test is full of lies, and you know it. I mean, it said I was neutral evil. Are you kidding me? No way, man. If I'm neutral evil, you're freaking chaotic. <laughs> There's no way you're eviler than I am. Right? So you've got to be chaotic evil. <laughs> yeah, more evil, Either. but he's doing it on purpose. <laughs> I am the essence of all that is good. Dude, you're according even more my, full of lies than this ace guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're both, at the very least, Lawful evil. Nope, the test doesn't lie. The test lies, man. The test doesn't <laughs> lie. I'm a paladin with, with a secondary cleric ability. I'm pure and good in every way. Ugh. The lies disgust me. That's an interesting design you got there, man. Hor did Hor just call Thanks. me evil, or did he call someone else evil? Oh, no, he called me evil, as he does. Okay, good. Well, that sounds about right. Oh, wow, yeah, thanks, dude. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, sure, I built Hell and Landmark, but it's gone now, so why? <laughs> I, I I built a Viking village, for God's sakes. It has a church and everything. Evil. Screw you, man. You don't know what you're talking about. What the hell? You stole my veggies. <laughs> I didn't you steal stole them. My veggies. I... I... Beat them out of you, in the arena. It was Evil. all fair. It was all fair. Not fair. <laughs> Your bad skills says, and you've forgotten, man. I'm an evil overlord. So, yeah. Your bad skills apparently is an evil overlord. So, go wail on him a little, okay? Leave this guy alone. <laughs> I like picking on evil. You like picking on evil, or you like picking on me? Both. See, how how am I the evil one if you're the guy who likes picking on everybody? Come on, man. Because <laughs> I'm the lawfully good guard that's guarding the queen, what? and if you're going to come up to me and be all evil, and I hey. have to arrest you because you're the DM, then I can hey. at least be smirky with you. What did I tell you? I don't remember. Ouch. <laughs> that would Your require me to care. listening to you, workouts. I, I assume you guys listen to me, yeah, for some reason. I don't know why. Evil people wear yellow shirts. Evil people say evil people wear yellow shirts in TeamSpeak. Yeah, I just did that. Evil people say evil people say evil people wear yellow shirts. Ah! Oh. Wow. Are you okay? 
Does your brain hurt now? <laughs> Mine does. <laughs> My int isn't too high. Oh, really? I'm sorry. I hope your wisdom's better then. <laughs> Because you're going to need one or the other. I'm really? a fighter slash whatever the heck it told me I was. I don't need sparts. I just need a sword and slash slash. I'm a big meat shield. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. No. Are you kidding me right now? This cannot be happening. Okay, Roof. Let's make a deal. I'm gonna paint part of you so that you can give me dirt. Then you better copy-paste properly. No. I wasn't talking to you. Are you a Roof? If you say yes, I swear. It, shit's just gonna hit the fan. Well, I do shield the innocent from evil like you. Oh so my flipping god, no you did not. Oh, you're so bad. Just so, so unbearably bad. <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> like me, Wargath. Yeah, I don't know. This guy, he's a he's a whole different level. Um, <laughs> I like how I'm this guy. Yeah, you have become this guy. <laughs> well, at least I'm something to you. Well, of course. I mean, you even hang out in my streams and such. I value all my viewers. I wouldn't just ca cast you aside like a wet rag or something. I wouldn't do that. that oh, would, whatever. That would be evil. You are mentally casting me aside right now. What? I would never. Ah! Why must you laugh at me? I laugh at all evil. But see, I thought we went over this already. Wait, what, what What? exactly did you get? You got what? Neutral evil? Whatever it was? I don't remember. Yeah, neutral evil. So that means that you're part-time evil. Right. I'm... According to that test, I, I'm evil when I'm not doing my day job. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, sounds about right. Really? Really? I've watched you play Planet Side 2. That You're game evil. changes me, okay? It does something to me that should never be happening to anybody. Would you say it wakes up the evil inside you? <laughs> no, I would not say that. No. <laughs> just, just no. It's part of the game mechanics. Exactly, there you go. It's the game. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> and your bad skill says I missed half the, I I missed half the thing? What what half thing? Bully Wergath as I'm evil, I like it. Evil people make fun of other people with their own name. He isn't like me, I'm the only dark evil black hole. What? There are things coming to the surface that I didn't know about your bad skills. I may have made a mistake when I modded him. <laughs> if he truly is evil, then uh, this is hurting my reputation as trying to not be evil right now. <laughs> I mean, people can use that as an argument to say that I am because I employ...
damn neutral. Screw you, horror, you're not neutral, not even close. Anyway, so the bottom of this building has a slightly different design as the top of it. Um, simply because the contrast between it gives it, I think, an interesting look. And I went with a different design on this side, well, because space restrictions. Once I put a secondary claim next to it, uh, I'll change it up so that it doesn't... From there, of course, you know, shielded by a door, and eventually a trap door. There's the ballroom. Why hold? It? Why have that ballroom here? Simple, because then the music can drown out the screams of. Anyway, so up here, when you reach the top of the stairs, if you... Kind of stuff. 
And horror, I don't believe that you're just neutral. Mm -mm. I just, I can't, can't believe it. Can't. No way. If you're neutral, then I'm lawful good. <laughs> and yeah, before I have the basement down here, right now I have my crafting stations down here. Because I need to be able to, you know, make furniture once I'm done with the, the basic building. There's a lot of lag. I think I'm gonna clear my cache and restart Landmark for a second. Then I'll continue building this place. So, I'm going to stop that for a second. Review an item, huh? Tinted windows, arch. I mean, I guess that looks okay. I don't see anything wrong with it. Although, that might be some artifacting in the lower left corner, but... Hmm. User joined your channel. Hello. Oh. Ah, welcome back, Ace. Hello. So is this just a, a random build that you're doing, or is there a reason why you're building this? Well, this is uh, a building that plays a big role in my D&D campaign. So, um, oh. that's why I'm building this. And I'm actually a little no, I'm actually a little surprised at how fast this thing is coming together. Um You know, I haven't really built something from the ground up in a long time. So I thought it would take me longer to get something like this going, but I guess the the tools haven't really changed that much, so that's good news. Okay, now I'm gonna have to find somewhere to put. Are you sorry? Out of any material? Out of any material? Um, uh, not yet, but I think I'm about to be out of dirt. Oh, I 
might be able to help you with that. That would be awesome. Because I have way too. <laughs> uh, I think this might be an okay area for an opening to the attic. I'm not gonna put like actual stairs in here like I did for the second floor, but maybe like a ladder. Shoots and ladders. Have a slide! <laughs> Super fun, happy slide! But that hey. only gets you down though, you, you have to be able to get up too, so. Ladder. Do you think that stops any child at a park from trying to go up an actual, like, slide? I don't know. <laughs> I've never experienced a child trying to climb up a slide. Never tried to climb up a slide when you were a kid? You're missing out. <laughs> Maybe I had... <laughs> Maybe I had just developed a sense of logic early on in life. <laughs> I don't know. It just Part of being a child is not having logic. <laughs> then I must have been uh, the equivalent of a teen when I was a kid. <laughs> I I had tons of logic. I still have tons of logic, which is why people think I'm evil. To... I was about to say, what do you mean you had tons of logic? Uh, I beat you to it. Damn it. Haha. <laughs> Who? User disconnected than the from your here? channel. Oh, we lost somebody. Who did we lose? Oh, you're jumping out for now? That's okay, Buzz. I didn't hear the ping, but I still got the message, so. Hi, Buzz. And let's see who actually left the channel. Oh, that was Hope Stealer. Oh. Sorry to see you go. You're a fun guy to talk to. Because at least you don't call me stinking evil. I don't call you stinking evil. I just call you evil. I never said stinking in any of that. Why don't I believe you, though? Why does it feel like you're setting me up? I'm lawfully good. I wouldn't lie to you. What? You would lie your ass off to me, and you know it. I never lie to you. What? Excuse you? I tell you straight face that you're an evil person. I have no reason to lie to you. Wow. I just... Wow. Hey, spliff nose and split... Exactly, spliff. Oh, fuck you, Spliff. Spliff <laughs> thinks that you're four times eviler than I think you are. Eviler isn't even a word. Fuck you. <laughs> it is in my dictionary, and that's all that counts. But that's the dictionary of stupid, though. How does that count for me? It might be stupid, but it is lawfully good stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus, your best skill says, I'm gonna do this test now on my PC, you made me wake up. Yes! I'm that good. Spliff killer spams me with evil, well, screw you, Spliff. Screw you. I don't need you. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, go for it. I think you... I think you do need Spliff because he's like your uh, he's like your pawn that you like make fun of when you're a DM. No, I, that's not true. Okay. Why would I make fun of Spliff? That doesn't sound like me at all. For those who are watching, please be tuned or please you know tune in on Sunday to observe said, I don't make fun of Spliff, or I don't, you know, use him as a pawn, make fun of him and use him as a pawn as he DMs the DN session. What? This guy is full of lies. Ace in chat, guys. Ace in chat, just ignore that guy. He's he's lying at, you know, just lying. Just his, his complete ass off lying. That's what he's doing. Yeah. 
is the one who put Spliff in a jello mold. Excuse me, he put himself in a jello mold. Yeah, that was you. No, I told him. You you see like skeletons and shit on the floor. You know, their their armor's all corroded and junk. How are you just gonna walk in there? How? Why? I don't understand. Did I not give you enough hints? Was it that hard, really, was it? Yeah, because you did not mention in all of that anything about a jello mold that is alive and wanting to eat you. Of course I didn't. He had to find out. Damn you, Ace. Just damn you. And while I haven't played d and I've sat in on a few, you know, sessions, and I've never met anyone who's made somebody roll to see if they can push somebody's head down on a bar. Well, because I don't just want him to just bash the head on the counter. That That's bad. It's not nice to bash people's faces on counters. I don't know if you know this, Mr. Lawful Good. This is the evil one. Excuse you. You're the one who's condoning bashing people's faces on counters. Who's evil? I didn't condone it. I just said that you did not allow it without a roll. It was going to happen either way. That wasn't going to happen. He failed that roll, by the way. The guy never got hurt because of Spliff, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, 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 I would actually pay to see that, too. I'd like to see that moment when he, like, tries and he's like, huh, huh. Right? I would have loved to see that in real life. Just, I'm gonna bash this guy's face! <laughs> no, I guess I'm not. Uh, I did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, see, seeing somebody not get hurt is funny. Seeing Spliff mess up is funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually really funny. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm gonna set this house on fire, and instead of running away, I'm just gonna casually take the stroll away from it. <laughs> no reason to run. No, I mean, I didn't set this house on fire, so why should I run and panic like a normal person? No, 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 I'm gonna stroll away and act like it wasn't me. Because nobody can tell that it was me when I'm casually strolling away from a fire. <laughs> Katavari said, I thought bashing faces on counters was a polite way of saying hello. Oh, really? Uh, you must be chaotic evil. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Hit right in. Fit right in, you asshole. What? It's not... See, I'm, I'm being truthful to you, thus I do not lie. Now. Ever. <laughs> wow. You can smirk all you want, but I serve the veggie queen, and part of my service to her is I do not lie. That right there was a lie, though. No, it's not! It totally was, oh my god. Not chaotic evil, neutral evil. Oh, well, Katafari, in that case, according to some people in this fucking stream, we're exactly the same. <laughs> so, welcome, and please get this weirdo off my fucking face. I don't know. He's dancing in there or something. Going like, nah, 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 nah. I got lawful good on a bogus ass test. I'm taking it totally seriously. <laughs> Just saying. I should still log in and go to your claim to dance on your roof. Why? Just to bug me? Is that it? That's not evil. And just, and just dance and go na 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 na. I got lawfully good. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's a real lawful good thing to do. You're such an ass hat. <laughs> Hey, to make it right, I will salute you first, and then I'll dance on your roof and say that. That doesn't make it right. Okay, here's... here. Doesn't. You know what? You know what? I'm sick of you. You know what? You think I'm evil. You're spending all this time and energy trying to convince people that I'm evil, while you could have been using that time and energy 
to help people out in the streets. Who the fuck is evil now? I don't have to try to make people think that you're evil. You do a good enough job of that already. Like, I don't... There's nothing for me to do. And yet you're sitting here expending time and energy on a worthless subject. Well, no, you just called yourself a worthless subject, and two, I'm actually doing homework right now. <laughs> One, ouch. Two, really? You're doing homework? I didn't know. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? I can sit here and program and make money of you at the same time. It's all multitasking. I can't multitask. How are you doing? What sorcery is this? Well, when you're lawfully good, it means that you're educated very well to do stuff like multitasking. So, you know, because a queen veggie makes sure that everyone can multitask. You're so full of shit. If you were any fuller of shit, you would be a sewer. I, I would think that I'm full of shit because that's what food turns into when it goes down your like intestines. And that's what you learn when you learn from the schools here in, you know, veggie town. Veggie Town? I thought it was Halloween Town. Oh. I'm disappointed. Shit. Why would the Queen Veggie have Halloween Town? Because Halloween rocks. I don't know why. Because the evil one. Oh, fuck you! So Proof hard. Again. <laughs> Ketavari says, multitasking means half-assing two things. You're so right. You're so absolutely right. High five right there. <laughs> you know, and that could be true because this assignment is really easy and making fun of Wargath is very easy. So, yeah, I mean, I, I can Oh, see you it. stink. Oh, my God. Really? I don't... You know what? You know what? I don't think we can be friends anymore. We were friends. Ow. See, he just insists on hurting me for no reason. I I don't understand this. Oh, I almost lost my headset on that one. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Katavari says, don't half-ass two things. A whole ass one. <laughs> That was a really good one. <laughs> a whole ass one. That's a thing now. <laughs> well, give me give me two more minutes. I'm almost done with this homework assignment, and then I will whole ass war gas, and and will everything will be good in the world. We all hurt the ones we love. <laughs> This is all kinds of perfect. <laughs> are, are you guys sticking up for evil? Oh wait, this is the evil channel. Never. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Eat you all. <laughs> I mean, you just got pwned. <laughs> Oh, that was amazing. GG. <laughs> I'm done with you. Whatever. Ooh, I'm gonna have to fix this roof, though. Hmm. Artifacting. I don't like it. And it's happened on my Viking build like twice that it happened randomly. That that really sucks. <clears throat> like server reset, bam! This part of your village is now artifacted. Have fun! At least you have stuff to do now. Yeah. <laughs> Watch, Karma's gonna get me back. I'm gonna port over to your claim and my whole computer's gonna crash. <laughs> If that happens, I'm not gonna lie, I will laugh my ass off.
That sounds painful. Not literally off you. No, I'm not gonna resort to an insult. No, not gonna do it. I love how you had to stop yourself and you're like, you know what? No, I'm not even gonna justify that with an insult. Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't deserve one. <laughs> I was close. I was very close to insulting you. But then I didn't. You're a pansy. <laughs> Call me whatever the hell you want, man. Sticks and stones. I was told those hurt. <laughs> yeah, but your well, words. Well, sticks maybe not, but stones. Stones I can imagine hurting. Sticks I don't. I don't, I don't think that those are too painful. I don't know. It depends on the stick. <laughs> well, I mean, if if they get too big, then aren't they just called a log? So it wouldn't be logs and stones? No, dumbass. I'm talking about st sharpened sticks. They fucking hurt. Don't tell me sharpened sticks don't hurt. I, I wouldn't know. I, I I've never had a sharpened stick thrown at me. I don't imagine that I would want sharpened sticks thrown at me, though, so uh, I think I'd rather keep that record. I don't believe that you have never been hit by a sharpened stick. Like, that. <laughs> no. 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 Apparently I haven't lived. I say you lie, sir. I say you lie. I have no reason to lie to you. Aww. I am lawfully good. Aw, that almost sounded like you were talking to a puppy. You suck. <laughs> Why do I suck? <laughs> User disconnected from your channel. Cheeks hurt because of you. You're a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh shit. Worth. Totally worth. I think I'll go down to a layer five. Because caves are full of stone and layer 5 should be full of things that I can loot. If not, I'll just kill shit. I hope something kills you. Oh, I love you too. Lies. Lies? No, I don't lie. Doesn't sound like me. Mm -mm. <laughs> What? You would laugh at me? Really? Oh my god, after I've been so nice to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, two can play that game, Ace. Two can play that game. Creeper slog, A. Eh? Die, foul creature. It's a foul demon and I'm sending it back to hell where it belongs. Well, I mean, you could just, you know, put it to sleep and, and not kill it. Instead, it's too late now. <clears throat> well, that's evil. No, it's called... being fond of loot. You should try that one time. One time? Yeah, because, you know, time. I don't want you to have all that loot. I want me to have all that loot, so you can have just a taste.
<laughs> Your bad skill says, wow, all I hear is Wurgath complaining about being called evil. Well, yeah, because I'm not, fucker. <laughs> Jeez. What's a guy gotta do around here? Why are you so mean? Why are you such a dick? I have one, but I'm not one. What? How is that different? <laughs> you hurt me. Hurt you? Wait, that would imply you have feelings. How does that work? <laughs> Gotta admit, that was that was a nice one. User left your channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so perfect. <laughs> well played, Ace. Well played. <laughs> Your bad skill says, am I, am I a fucker now? <laughs> Should I start now, Wurgath? That's up to you, man. I'm gonna leave you to do what you want. <laughs> User joined your channel. Hi. It has been agreed that you are not supposed to make fun of your fans because you're a streamer. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Take that. Shit. That actually works. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Yay. <laughs> I was not prepared for that one. Well the fact played. That I had to have help figuring that one out. It's kind of sad, but yeah, but uh, yeah, it, it, you still phoned me, so uh, good one. <laughs> I'm a wiener. Yes, you are. Abominations! Ah, how I hate you. <clears throat> oh, you like being mod? Okay, well. In that case, I guess better not insult the streamer, huh? Ooh, chest. Loot! I like loot. Uh, it was crap. God damn it. Oh well. Can't win them all, I guess. More stone for me. More stone for me? Woo! You need stone as well. I'm currently exploding mushrooms to get it. Which is working, I mean... So I've already got you, like yes. How how much stone do you need? I don't know the exact amount. If I knew, I would have just told you. But yeah, I I don't know. I don't measure things. I don't know how much of a material I'm gonna need when I start building shit. It's sad, so I right? I will give you dirt and stone. I would appreciate that a lot. So, thank you beforehand. No worries, I'm almost in game. Shit, where, Geth? How long is this test? Your bad skills? It's 125 questions. I. Yeah, I guess I should have told you that. I'm sorry. Horror Siren says fans are always right. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I mean, they are my lifeblood, so... Yeah. I guess, Acerail, I should... God, I hate this. <laughs> I should apologize to you. Damn it, I wasn't recording that! So, I'm sorry, Ace. Uh, it's alright. I'm sorry, too. I was mean to you, too. So we good? Group hug. 
I don't hug. Uh. <laughs> the air hug. Uh. Right, okay. Air hug then. Yeah, Bad skill there? says, good, I'm at 120 now. Really? You're already at, a question, at the question 120? Dang. I didn't do that that fast. How are you doing this? Is this magic? Does this feel like? Right? I think I'm gonna recruit, recruit you for my Tower of Magi. Once I start building that. No, don't say sorry, then you admit to being weak. Nah, that's not true. People who think saying sorry is being weak are assholes. Not saying you're one, but whoever taught you that? Pfft, that guy's an asshat. I forgot that I didn't have Landmark on this computer yet, and I reinstalled it, and the video came up. Oh no, not the day video. Oh god, I'm sorry dude, that sucks. <laughs> hey, he has hair! He does, yes, he does. Lots of it. Mossy Chomper. Hey, this actually looks cool. Wait, let me shed some light on this. Oh, let me get some discovery stats, some harvesting signs, some more light. Ooh, wow. Okay, this is really cool. Horror Siren says, I guess I'm a fan too. <laughs> Yay, I have fans! hundred and twenty nine questions and you were joking? Oh. Uh, it's not a very good joke when you're the one who gets claimed. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, boom shoot. I like you. I like you a lot. Go boom. Yes! So much stone hum down. <laughs> That means I'm always right. What? Oh. Yeah, not during my D&D &D games. <laughs> during my D&D &D games, the only person who is always right is me. Yeah, that's right. Oh, this mossy chomper was guarding a chest. Oh, dude. Bad call. I love loot, so don't defend it. That's just... that's bad for your health. Man. Besides, you look like you would make a great stew or something. Pretty big, pretty plant-like, so yeah. I don't know. I wonder how you taste this soup. Your bad skill says I'm a neutral evil human druid first level. Cool. Very cool. Hey, I know somebody else who's neutral evil. Really? Who? I can't remember his name. Cool guy, but kind of evil. Hmm. Well, as long as he's a cool guy. Am I right? Sure. Why did you say I mean, that so hesitantly? I guess if I'm lawfully good, I have to be open and accepting to everyone no matter how good or evil they are. So, he's a cool guy. Sweet. <laughs> Your bad skill says, damn it, I'm not an evil overlord. Well, you know... Your day might come, you don't know. Don't There's give up. There's nothing wrong with being an evil overlord. We need those in the world. Right. Don't give up. You're not overly ambitious.
I mean, sure, you're yanking everybody's chain right now, but... Wait, where am I going? Oh, down there. Hello. Da, 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 da. Katavari says, so long as they aren't breaking the law, right? Depends on what law they're breaking. Ace also has a point, which is kind of creepy. <laughs> Ah, yes. Don't forget that, guys. Um, da Vinci, who is a really good streamer and an amazing cosplay uh, engineer, as he calls himself. Uh, he's kind of in a bit of trouble. His computer went poof. It was Hollywood-style, basically. Wind up in sparks and smoke. Uh, and he can use all the help he can get. So if you can spare anything at all, go to his page and hit that donate button and uh, hit him up with some dough. Uh, the faster we can get him up streaming again, the better. Your bad skill says, so these good guys... They're true evil. Can beat me, right? I suppose they could. I don't know. I, why don't you try and find out? Katavari says, I'm not an evil overlord, but if I keep trying, just may become criminally insane. He painted his tower with thermite paint? What the shit? Who does that? <laughs> you gotta be a special kind of stupid to do that, right? I mean, thermite... It's the hottest burning substance in the world, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Special kind of stupid. Boom shroom! Do it, bro. Boom. That's right. Chest. Loot! Wonderful loot! What did I get? Broken shit. Shit, where's my emitters? Beesh. Da Vinci must have painted his tower with thermite paint, you think? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he did get the special effects, like Hollywood style, so there must have been something going on, but I don't think he painted it with thermite. How else do I explain the flames? Um, those were the flames of years of toil and trouble. Horror Siren says, Da Vinci's BC went Michael Bay on his ass. Right? Yes. I totally blame Michael Bay. There we go. Michael Bay, you taught Da Vinci's computer that explosions were alright. No, scratch that. You taught him that explosions were cool. That was a bad thing, man. Michael shouldn't have done that. It's hurting Da Vinci. God damn it, Michael. Got mail. I do have mail. That's that's pretty cool. Uh when in combat that thing disappears though. I'm kinda worried about that. Is there a chest or you know down here? No! Oh damn it, Mikey. <laughs> You're right, Katavari, that's exactly what you should say. God damn it, Mikey. I thought we were friends, but I thought we had some kind of agreement, but... You broke my heart, Mike. <laughs> I don't think we can ever be friends again. It's... it's over. You know what? Mining this obsidian, I came to a realization. I don't know why I'm mining obsidian.
confused the hell out of me. What's my goal here? Oh, stone, right, stone. That was stupid. He'll shoot some. Oh shit, boom shoom. Ow. Don't die. I'm not dead. I'm okay, I think. Wait, th where's my hair? Oh, there it is. <laughs> For a second there, I thought they blew my character's hair off. Which I guess would have been poetic justice for uh, for a certain dwarf in my campaign. <laughs> that beard loss, though. <laughs> uh, best thing ever. I hope Magnar starts talking again once he has his beard back. Because <laughs> he's kind of too quiet now. Come on, Boom Shroom. Go Boom. There you go. Good Shroom. Good boy. You're such a good boy. Okay, second Shroom. That's your bro, right there. Go Boom. Yeah. You got it. You're doing alright. Okay. Uh, where was I going with this? All right, I was going down to find more chests. That's what I was doing. Shit, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. More chests. Loot. Wonderful loot. God damn it. No emitters. Why? But why? I want him. What I ever do to you? Stone. Oh boy. Boom shroom. Diamond, you say? Diamonds are a king's best friend. That is how that song goes, right? Uh. Guess not. Hmm. Shoot mushrooms from range and they sometimes drop loot now. Really? Ooh. Awesome. I'm gonna have to get my bow back out of storage. And welcome to the stream, Dave. Awesome to have you, dude. Abomination. No, oh, come on. I hate those things. Get away. They like you. Right, they really do. I see many shot shrooms in my future, but right now... Eek. And it's funny, if you're not paying attention to them and you're like ignoring them, they'll ignore you, but the minute you stand there and go, please don't see me, please don't see me, they're like, oh, hey. Right. They just, they try to find you. It's, it's insane. Oh no. No, no. Please. I didn't, I didn't mean to. I, I mean, I know you're an abomination, but we don't have to fight. This doesn't have to be a thing. It doesn't have to end this way. Right? Only here for a few minutes, meeting about the shape of islands in open beta in about five minutes. Oh my god, that is going to be epic. I can't wait to see what comes out of that. Hmm. <laughs> you have made me very curious. I, I guess I better get out of this cave before something explodes. I mean, it explodes me. <laughs> Katafari, oh my god. Will they be kinosoidal shaped? I don't think that's a thing. Archipelagos? 
Or is it archipelago? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but dang it! it sounds amazing. Ah, oh, damn. My claim is like really, really far away. What am I gonna do? Wait, I know. It's a grapple feeder! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dave pulls out a word you can't even pronounce. That is... Kudos. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> you win. That's just automatic win. <laughs> I'm not gonna compete with that. You just win. <laughs> Do I remember the dragon? Your bad skills? I can never forget that thing, man. I loved it. You could go inside its stomach and everything. It's it's all up here. It still lives on. <laughs> How many sides are those? <laughs> uh, Kadavari's asking all the right questions. <laughs> Spelled it wrong. I still can't pronounce it. <laughs> um, somebody want to give that a try? Ace, maybe? Do you want to try and pronounce that thing? Uh... <laughs> that sounds Do like a I no. Do I have to? <laughs> Do you have to? No. <laughs> There's nobody holding a gun to your head. <laughs> Is there? <laughs> K. Kerbiad. Okay. There. Nice. Phonetic spelling for the win. <laughs> it's a Kinos joke. <laughs> it's fine, Dave. Uh, everybody's been making Kinos jokes all day, so, man. <laughs> we can take a couple more. <laughs> it's all good. Oh. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Kadavari just went there. Is that pronounced Quaker Bade or Caker Beard? Oh, ha, ha. I get it. I get it. Ha. I oh. get it. Ha. That is so just, bad. <laughs> just dinged in my head. I was like, why? This looks so much. What's going on? And, and then... Wow. Really? That's... And I'm sitting here like I played EQ2 for so many years. Why haven't I heard of this name? And I'm like racking my brain. And then it hits you like a truck. Bam. <laughs> Literally like a truck. <laughs> uh, oh, that's terrible. Meeting time.